Welcome back, spiritual babes. This is the last and final part of building your bodyguard mojo bag. Okay, I recommend doing it on a full moon, but if you can't and you're magical like that, you can do it any day and time of the week, like I do in the time of the fucking moons. I do that too. Um, but like I said, it would need to be created on the full moon if you want all the energy, if you're new to this, whatever. Okay, so we're building this bodyguard mojo bag. Okay, so you're going to collect your chamber lie in a glass jar. Okay, in that glass jar, you're going to place the dime and the pie john into it. You're going to close that jar very tightly. Okay, after you close that jar very tightly, you're going to put it up somewhere high where it cannot be touched or it cannot get, get to. Okay, you're going to let it soak for over 24 hours. Okay, 24 hours to 48 hours. I say 48 hours, that's the more potent. Um, but you can just do 24 hours if you choose to, if you're running fast. Okay, once you do that, you're going to remove the items and you're going to pat them dry. Okay, you're going to pat them completely dry. Then you're going to place them in your red flannel. In that red flannel, you're going to tie it up with that ribbon, that cord, or that wire, whatever you chose to have. Remember, while doing this, your intenting is protection, bodyguard protection, no less, okay? Like bodyguard, okay? Then you're going to tie it close. You're going to feed that flannel seven drops of hot cologne, okay? Seven drops. Okay, now remember, before you do any work, you make sure that you cleanse your area and you cleanse your workspace, okay? And remember, building this, you're always going to have your intentions, okay? After you're done, you can put it, uh, tie it to your waist, put it in your purse, keep it in your car, and boom, there you go. Bodyguard Protection Mojo Bag. Let me know if you like it. Follow me, and let me know if you have any questions. Bye!